Well, this is this is the dancing cat that plays. This, that's the dancing cat that plays the music. And this is the cat that's dancing to the music. The dancing cat. These are the musical notes. This is to signify we have jam sessions here. We have jam sessions of about 30 to 40 people, about once a month, and uh, we have a good old time exchanging ideas and music, and we bring food and enjoy the fire and each other's company, conversation. It's great. This is the Snowy Bowie. She's my queen kitty. She has one blue eye and one gold eye. Named after David Bowie, who has one gold eye and one blue eye. All my cats are rescuees. I saved them from death's doorstep. She is a very sweet girl. She's my best girl. She's my girl. She is. She's the queen kitty. Here's a piece of sculpture that I did. I, when I first learned to arc well, that's the first piece I did. I lent it to my son for a while, so he's missing a foot, but he's survived through the ages. My son had that when the fire hit. And this is my little Key West uh, porch in my favorite colors, the primary colors. I'm very much into primary colors. There's Tammy and Jimmy. Hey. Your, hair my... looks, your hair looks great. Thanks. So does yours. This is my friend Rob. I just got out of the pool. Oh, Mine well, looks that's rough. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. How you feeling? Pretty good. Thank Still you, can't complain. You. Avocados. Oh, thanks. Thanks. They're not ready yet, but. That's all right. I don't know how to make them ready. And he's got a Christmas tree he's bringing. Oh, cool. He's making a film of me and my artwork, and he's oh, putting you in it. <laughs> wonderful. I love <look laughs> this. This is Rob. Though. Rob, Tammy. Tammy nice to Rob. meet you. Hi, Tammy. He lives right around the corner over there on 11th. Oh. And yeah. who is this with the box? This is Jim. This is Jimmy. My other Hey, Jim. Half. Howdy. This is Rob. Come on in. Hi, Rob. He's making a movie. Oh. Come on in. I'm an artist, <laughs> musician, writer. Happening maker, reclamation art maker, jam maker of all sorts of jams. No jellies? No, no jelly. <laughs> I'm a mother, I'm a cat lady, I'm happy camper. And I like to do pictures of musicians. And this is a picture of my friend Ben Sims. It's a new technique. I've been making art for 40 years, over 40 years. It's a new technique that my fellow artist, Richard uh, Thomas, turned me on to, where you take a Chinese ink block. Usually you make ink out of it and then use a paintbrush, but you take the ink block itself. You paint your paper with water then you draw with the ink block and then add watercolors. It, because the paper is wet, the water flows uh, and it gives you accidents, sometimes very happy accidents. Okay, this is another one of the same technique. This is my friend Tamara Kafka. She is a uh, descendant of Franz Kafka. He wrote a couple of books back in the uh, 20s. It's the, the ink block on wet paper with watercolor. This was done out at the beach. I live near the Gulf of Mexico and I love the Gulf of Mexico. I love to swim there and so I go there and bring my paints and I have a piece from there that I would like to show you. This was done at dawn. I have a friend who uh, rents a place out there and I spend the night and I get up at dawn and she quietly gets up and makes coffee, and I quietly get up and start doing paintings. And this is just after dawn. These are the uh, sand dredgers. Anna Maria Island is being washed away by the hurricanes. These are the sea oats that are protected species. This is the sand. Those are the big sand, those rust-colored things. That looks like land, but it's actually the big tubes that they move the sand in from the ocean out onto the beach. And these are the dredgers, of course, that's the sky. This piece is from around 1964. I have put it on a window frame. It, the canvas comes off the wall. It's a statement about the frame is not important. It's the painting that's important. It's acrylic on raw canvas. Two figures. It was done at two different studies. 
One was done one week and then one was done the other. It was the same model. These are recent pieces. This is a drawing of charcoal and Conti crayon. And this is an acrylic painting done from a drawing. I'm very much into figures. I like to do portraits, figure, anything that has to do with people I'm interested in, besides landscapes, still lifes, and abstracts. When I was in college, I was majoring in art and in English, and I was influenced by Ezra Pound, influenced by the uh, poetry of the Japanese, the 17-syllable poems, the haiku poems. Only I make senru poems. That's a 17-syllable poem about people. This one is, Why Say You? Why say you win the war? All that's left, widows, orphans, disabled men. I should take this down so you can get a better look at it. This one, it looks unfinished, but it's actually a finished painting. It is about John Kennedy Jr. and Caroline Kennedy and her sister who were killed in the plane crash. And the poem goes, Snow White and Red Rose chose to go on John John's flight, now unfinished lives. I've used the light blue, the baby blue, to indicate a childish decision that John John made when he was flying. I didn't have the heart to uh, cover this canvas with uh, letters because I felt like the painting was really good. And so I have it in a separate little frame here. The poem is in a separate frame. The All-American Family, The All-American Tragedy. This one, this is about frustration with the government. Dear Senator, what do I see? Wounded child, help! Go to next window. This one, and all the blood of the children flows from Columbine to Kosovo. I think war begets war. That's why I'm against war. I haven't put the poem on that one either. This one is a little more lighthearted. This is um, to young mothers. Put a halo over your head. We know who you are. Our salvation. This is a steel piece. I cut the figure out with an oxyacetylene torch. I was thinking about a drawing that I had done the previous week. And then I took an arc welder and welded it to this piece and then uh, bolted it to this wooden stand. I did several of these. This is the only one I was able to save through the years. Of course, it's figurative. Some of my friends call it the Iron Lady. This is called The Well-Respected Alien About Town or Alien. It's called a mother mold piece. That means it's one of a kind. You make the original in clay, you make a mold, you destroy the mold, you pull the mold apart, destroying your original, then you put the mold back together and put casting plaster in it, then you have to destroy the mold to get the piece out. It is, of course, figurative, and um, it survived the fire too, just like that one did. What fire are you talking about? In 1995, my home and my studio, my studio caught fire and that it was a windy day and in turn my house nearby caught fire and uh, I lost everything. Where was that? It was on Anna Maria Island in uh, for Bradenton, Florida. Um, I was able to afterwards manage to save a few watercolors in a melted plastic box. I lost a pet, I lost every bit of clothes, all my jewelry, I lost everything. I lost my home, I lost my security, I know what it feels like to be homeless and so I have empathy for people who are homeless.